to another video right here on FU Builds. At this point in time, I've noticed a lot of people who are into the RC hobby have been doing builds on this specific RC that you see right here. I'm outside, on the table outside, and uh, I'm doing the first test with this new setup and this new battery. And as I do this test, after I finish it, I will go through what the process was so if you just want to see the end result, here it is. And then if you want to see the, the build in its entirety, follow along until the end of the video. So at the back over here, we've strapped in a bigger battery and I used Velcro to actually get the battery to stick down. We've changed the kind of connector that it uses and we've done away with the original battery that came with it. Instead in front, we've used that space for lighting controller and we can plug in more lights including reverse lights whenever we want to but the main change that has come to this car if I would turn it to the light is we've put a brushless system in here and that is a hobby wing easy run 25 amp uh, ESC I can't remember the exact numbers but uh, we've also used a brushless motor which if you look carefully inside, you'll see I've cut out the bottom layer of the driver's seat. And you can see the motor over there. And that's just to give the motor some breathing room to cool down when it heats up. And it is a 7,800 kV motor. The small MN RC is now really fast. Okay, I turn to uh, the light on my phone and it's really fast there's the motor as you look in there and one thing we also did was reinforce the front over here we changed these links to adjustable metal ones and they're working really well we also changed the rear drive shaft to a stronger one the front one is still the same although I plan on upgrading both of them this is sort of a temporary solution over here but basically, let's get into it. Let's start this. We're also using a GT5 uh, receiver. I see the number over there is the FS PS6. So it's got six channels and you can use all of those. And I think in this build, it'll be appropriate. So let's turn on the car and you'll see. When you turn it on, the lights are flashing. That's to show me that the receiver's off. And obviously you're not supposed to do this, but uh, just for demonstration purposes, we started the car before the receiver. So when I turn it on, the light should go solid. And it's straightened up. One thing we also did was we changed the servo from the standard servo to a metal geared power HD servo, which is actually quite powerful and it turns nicely. The original one that came with this uh, toy grade, um, semi hobby grade car was uh, questionable. It couldn't turn on certain obstacles and at certain angles. This one's very powerful and it just turns and it can handle it. So without saying much, let us do a bit of a test and then we'll go into the entire video of putting this together. And uh, over here we're using a Gen Zace soaring battery at 2200 mAh 30C and it just fits right here in the back just fits snugly these wires just fit and I've used velcro to actually strap it down instead of putting the battery in there so some people asked why why did you cut out this section at the the back over here this gives me space and room to actually uh, put a fan and whatever else we need so let's go and do the test
deceived by its size. This is much smaller. It looks much smaller, but it is much more powerful. It is, it is potent. I'm most probably going to have to go into the programming menu of that and um, drastically reduce the power and uh, put a setup that you know really will work. Here's the gearbox and there's the new motor that we're putting in, brushless. And it will also enable us to put uh, better batteries in. Um, I'm hoping to get at least a bit more crawl power out of it so it can climb some obstacles. So let's put this together. I've just put the pinion gear on and uh, I was looking at the gearing. Uh, it's not the best, it's not ideal, but uh, I think it should work. Let's see, I think it'll wear itself in. I'll put extra grease in here just so that it's well covered and uh, hopefully this small dynamite doesn't rip this RC apart. As you can see over there, the original servo had a plastic uh, gear. The new one is bezel geared. So hopefully we get a better response. We've got a nice ESC over there at the back and a very, very high powered motor over here. I honestly don't know how it's going to react. One thing I plan on doing is uh, filling this uh, gap with uh, some hot glue. Um, hopefully it won't melt the plastic when I'm doing that. But just to reinforce this chassis slightly. Let's see how it goes. Okay, so this is the MN82. I put a brushless motor in it and I've got the Easy Run 25 amp uh, ESC at the back over there. That's a 7,800 kV. I've put it into crawler mode and uh, I've got the GT5 uh, control uh, connected here. But then um, every time I would run it, I would get this red blinking light after a few seconds and it would stop working. So after a lot of trial and error, I came to the conclusion it must be the battery. The battery I was using was this old puffy battery and I would fully charge it and basically when it hits a certain uh, rev range on the accelerator, it would draw out all the power and cut off. So here's it running now nicely. I did upgrade the rear uh, drive shaft, uh, which I will show you. I don't know if this car is meant to actually go that fast, if it can take those speeds, but uh, I was trying to create a really small, uh, really nice um, trail uh, RC that's really fast. And uh, we came to that problem with this specific Easy Run 25 amp ESC was just cutting out after a few seconds of driving and it would just flash red. The problem was the battery. If it flashes green, then it's overheating. So I forgot. When the green light comes on, along with the red, it's at the max speed. 